everybody. Welcome back to Bookshelf Bites, Summer Reading Edition, where we're making recipes with things that we think you probably already have at home. Today we are making pizza crackers. So here's what you'll need. Ritz crackers. I have Ritz because that's what I had at home. You could probably use any type of cracker. You'll need a little bit of pizza sauce. I had mine with uh, my foil out, or my saran wrap over the top of it because as I told you in the last video, I uh, <clears throat> made all these videos the other day and then they didn't turn out right so I have to remake them all. So my pizza sauce was already open and in the refrigerator because I was saving it for something else. Here's what you're going to do. Oh wait, let's go wash our hands. Alright, so pizza crackers are going to be super fast and super easy. I already preheated my toaster oven to broil. And I picked broil so that it would melt the cheese and warm everything up on the top, but not really cook my cracker underneath. Um, if you don't have a toaster oven, you could use your regular oven set on broil, or you could probably microwave these as well. The, everything might not get quite as crispy, but you could still do it. Um, I have not chosen, I didn't have any pepperoni on hand and I couldn't find any at the store, but you could put pepperoni, you could put Canadian bacon, you could cut up some vegetables, you could put pineapple on it, whatever you would like to do. So you lay out your crackers on your baking sheet. If you are doing this in the microwave, remember you cannot use a metal baking sheet in the microwave. If you're doing a toaster oven or a regular oven, metal is okay. So make sure if you're using a microwave, whatever you put your crackers on can go in the microwave without starting a fire. Um, also, if you're using a toaster oven or a regular oven, you might need a big person around to help you take things in and out because it will be hot, okay? So make sure you're using safety measures, make sure you have oven mitts and hot pads and all that good stuff, okay? So now that you have your crackers laid out, add just a little bit of pizza sauce to the top of every single cracker. And that is up to you. You measure that with your heart. However much pizza sauce you want on there, you can sure have it. And because I don't have anything else um, to put on my pizza crackers, this is where you would add your toppings. But I don't have anything else that I'm using as toppings, I'm just gonna do some cheese. So then you'll take a little bit of cheese and put it on top of the cracker and sauce. And you wanna try to make sure to put the cheese on the top of the cracker rather than getting it all over the pan because then it will melt to the pan and then you'll have a, a big old mess to clean up. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. I have my pizza crackers, I've got my sauce and my cheese ready to go in. Two minutes in the toaster oven. So while our pizza crackers are cooking, let's clean up. We can put our cheese away. We did not use very much of our pizza sauce, so we can make sure to cover that back up and put it in the refrigerator. And then take your dirty dishes to the sink. Anytime you're cooking, you always wanna make sure to clean up after yourself and save ingredients if you can. in a microwave it may not take as long as on my toaster oven it may take a little bit longer in another type of oven it may take a little bit less time so you always want to keep track of it because it won't take very much to get that cheese to melt but while I'm waiting I'm gonna go ahead and get out my hot pad and my oven mitts so that I can safely take everything out of my toaster oven when it's all done Okay. 
and my broiler didn't actually turn on when I turned it on, so it might take even a little bit longer for mine to cook today, and that's okay. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it, and when the cheese is all melted, I'll take them out, and it looks like Sadie and Andrea are here, and they'll get a little morning snack. So, let us know your favorite pizza toppings in the comments, or on our social media, or stop into the library and tell us what you put on your pizza crackers. And we'll see you next time on Bookshelf Bites. Bye.